Jack just stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. You can start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000, registered to Melissa Kuzak. If you feel lonely, you know where to find me, officer. Hey, me found my guarantee. What? Someone knocked out his teeth, including the gold one. He's asking if anyone found it. For some to learn how not to lose the track of time is to learn how not to lose their money. Citizen, I am ordering you to discontinue this deliberate act of vandalism. S screw you, man! So uh, what you gonna do? You you can't put me behind bars. I, I'm still a kid and only done it once. J just let me off with a warning, will ya? I hereby assign you 40 hours of community service. D doing what? Painting over the illegal graphics. You're telling me I'll get to cap over tags of those assholes from the hood with police watching my back. Sweet! Hey, I might be a little late filing my tax return, but sending a one-man army seems like an overreaction. I am here to investigate the theft of a blue SUX 6000 that belongs to Melissa Kuzak. Fancy car and fancy name. But I hardly ever get the pleasure of dealing with either. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of this vehicle? To be honest, I did some work on one of those cars recently. But I can assure you that it was not the one you're looking for. Do I have your permission to search the shop? I know what the world's like, but can a man go about his business without being harassed all the damn time? I do not mean to obstruct anyone's work, but fulfilling my duties takes priority. Then why aren't you out there on the streets where a real crime is happening, instead of badgering hard-working citizens? Is car theft not a real crime to you? You know what? If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest.
See, I told you, you'll find Jack all, because there ain't nothing to be found. This place is legit. I need access to one of your lockers. I can't allow that. It's my worker's private possessions. You said your shop has nothing to hide. The locker you have in mind belongs to a boy named Scott. He works for me on and off. I have to admit, I had a tiny feeling he might have something to do with your case. I will open his locker for you, but I won't be held accountable for what's inside. That's his locker. Go on, have a look. And what do you reckon? Is he your man? For the time being. Where is the suspect? You see, he hasn't turned up for work for some time. This morning when two thugs swang by looking for him, I knew he must be in trouble. I've overheard him many times talking about a place where he does car jobs on the side. Give me the precise location. I can't tell you exactly where it is. All I know is that it's one of the garages near the local storage compartments. Why did you cover for him? I can't watch a decent kid like him get swallowed by this city. Don't look at me like that. Instead of giving him up, I was encouraging him to come clean. But a man can only try. Tell me why you think he is responsible. He's young, bright, and would like to rule the world. I get it. But nearly every month, he gets himself in trouble. It is not enough to make assumptions. I'm not a cop. Tell me why you think he is responsible. He's young, bright, and would like to rule the world. I get it. But nearly every month, he gets himself in trouble. It is not enough to make assumptions. I'm not a cop. But I've seen many things in my life, and where there's smoke, there's usually fire. 